Morning everybody, it's David with davidspassage.com and today we are looking at one of the coolest buck saws I have ever seen. Stick around. So if you've seen any of my winter camping videos in the past, one of the things I think is just so important when you go winter camping is having a good saw, a good ax, you know, something to collect a lot of firewood. And I tend to prefer, if I have my choice between an ax and a buck saw for winter camping, I tend to prefer buck saw because you're able to process much more firewood in a, with a lot less energy. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Bob Dustrude's 21 inch quick folding buck saw. I saw John McCann do a video on this on YouTube on his channel. I picked this up at survivalresources.com and there'll be a link below where you can uh, um, pick one of these up. But when I saw this buck saw, I thought, holy cow. What an amazing concept. It's basically a buck saw in two parts. In, <laughs> in two parts, right? In two parts, there we go. And uh, I really fell in love with this thing. I said, when I saw it, I was like, wow, what an amazing concept. I've seen, you know, buck saws where you gotta take them apart and put them back together. I've seen buck saws that are, you know, one or two pieces, you fold them together, but none that are really quite like this one. You know, I made a video some time ago on how to make your own buck saw of natural materials, and I'll, I'll put a link to that below too. But what I really like about the, this concept, I'll, actually I'll just show it to you. So it's made of extruded aluminum and basically all you do to assemble this thing, you lift up one of the sides, pull the blade out carefully because it's sharp. The blade has a, a hardwood attached handle to the blade. And actually right here on the handle are instructions on how to put this together. So it comes in two parts. You've got this sort of extruded aluminum frame and you've got the blade with the attached handle. And to put it together, you just take the frame, bend it around, and you take the saw blade itself, and there's these little slots. There's little slots right here where the blade goes in. You insert the blade there, and then also on the other side, like that. And what's nice about this is that the handle has been designed so that when you pull back on this handle, it locks in place. It's all set up in terms of the proper pressure or proper tension on the blade, and then you are ready to go. The thing I love about this buck saw design is I've seen, you know, other, I've seen other saws or camp saws that fold out, like for instance, the Sven saw. The problem with that type of design is once you get past the, the depth of the blade, you're, you start to lose your ability to cut thick pieces of wood. Well, this has got probably, man, probably a 10 inch, probably an eight inch gap, eight or 10 inch gap between there. I'm not sure what it is, but it's got a, a nice big gap in there and the gap goes the full length of the blade. So you can cut through some pretty thick pieces of wood with this thing. I've got a tree that's kind of hanging, getting ready to fall on our, uh, our trail here. And so I'm just gonna do a little trail maintenance while I show you this thing, so. Working pretty good. Uh, I really like it so far. Now I haven't done any extensive testing on this. I just really love the design, but just my initial impression of this is that it's a pretty awesome buck saw. That's kind of fun. <laughs> now I just gotta get this off the trail. It's kind of hanging on the trail a little bit. It was dead, it was coming down anyways. And uh, it's no fun when, when people wanna hike through here and they got all this stuff in the way. So I'm gonna buck this down some more. One of the nice things about this buck saw is, you know, it's made out of extruded aluminum. So I'm dropping it in the snow. It's got copper rivets. Wood hand, I don't have to worry about anything rusting really on this thing. It's pretty comfortable to use too.
kind of fun. For, for me, processing firewood is actually pretty therapeutic for uh, winter camping. That's one of the things I actually look forward to. But this Bob Dustroot's buck saw makes it pretty easy. So, how to take it apart? You know, it's a little hook in here. Or the, the wood kind of hooks over. Just pull that out. It unlocks. And you got the blade in the frame. Pull the frame up most of the way. And then insert your blade. Actually, what you want to do is fold the, fold the handle over like that. There's a little screw in the top of this handle that keeps it locked in place. And what's nice about it is this saw is its own carrying case. And when I, when I put this down, a little screw locks it right in there. <laughs> that is so cool. It's only one pound. I think it's just just over a pound. I think like it's a pound and one ounce or something like that. So, and uh, if you want to get big firewood like this without using up a lot of energy, uh, you gotta go with a buck saw. All right. So here's the question I've got for you guys this week: Is there another design that's better than this? The reason why I ask is because for the longest time I wanted one of those Trailblazer aluminum, uh, one of those Trailblazer aluminum buck saws that you sort of. It's got a lot of parts, you kind of have to assemble it, but the reason why I wanted it was because it was its own case. You know, my primitive buck saw doesn't have a, a nice case that protects the blade from cutting up my pack and stuff. But I like that it was also light, about the same size as this, same weight as this at least. But is there a design that's better than this? Or do you know of another design that's similar to this? I'd like to take a look at it because this is a really cool one. Again, on the handle, it's got the instructions printed right on the handle how to put it together, but once you do it, you'll remember how to do it anyways thank you guys again so much for watching appreciate all your comment support don't forget to connect with me on facebook or twitter and we'll see you in the next video take care